personal ministry, but this morning, thank you, Elder Fenton, for giving me the privilege. Okay. Um, as we have studied the lesson and the little reading at the back of it, you told you about the 18-year-old who had surgery and the whole story and how the doctor walked in and thought she was discharged. What are you doing here? And I guess the Holy Spirit, let the nurse had forgotten to do the discharge, so she get to witness to the other people. Everybody read that in their Sabbath school at the back of the quarterly? Okay. Well, I'm going to bring it a little home now because that was all the way in Russia it happened. But for my job now, I finished work, and I was heading home. And I got a call, and my supervisor said, they're going to kill me. The insurance company gonna kill me. We oversight a patient. They're gonna kill me. And I know I can depend on you. I know I can depend on you. Please, 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 please. Just go see this patient. Please, please, please. I hesitated a little, but then I said, Lord, you know why they overs you know, those who work in the office did not see to assign the patient to somebody. And so here is the reason why. That person had oversight dispatching a nurse to the patient. Go ahead, Sister Clark. Happy Sabbath, everybody. My name is Lorna Clark, and uh, I just have a little story to tell. In 1995, I had a friend who was an Adventist, and she wanted me to become a part of her, but I would not because I was a Methodist. And lo and behold, when um, footprints started, I said, I said to my daughter, oh, this is good because my daughter now is also an Adventist. I didn't want to leave Methodist, you know, growing up from a childhood. And then I took sick and then the doctor sent the nurse to me, who came to my house, an Adventist. I said, and then when the orthopedic came, who came to my house? An Adventist. I called to my daughter and I said, I'll see her. Guess what? There are two Adventists in the house. And she said, I told you, Mom, the Lord is going to send somebody. Because I always wanted somewhere to go, but I couldn't find a church. And then when footprints on, I never missed one footprint from it started. And I just called my daughter and I said, I'm ready. I'm ready to be baptized. And she said, okay, your choice. And I said to Sister Black, you know what? I want to be baptized, but I want to be, get some teaching, know what I'm going into. Need somebody to come to me, sit and talk with me. And there she said, okay. And then she sent, um, what's this? Is this? Elder Edwards, and he's ever been at my side until now. So, within, I wanted us to be baptized on my birthday, which is March 9th. But unfortunately, there was funeral. So, next week, I will join your faith. Amen. So, I just want to say before Amen. I come in. Isn't that a lovely story? Thank you. We're amen. Not in, we're not in Russia, but we're right here doing this. Amen, amen, amen. And it's a little sweeter. Sister Clark, we'll call her Sister Clark now until next week officially. Tell them where your, do your granddaughter work. Upstairs. I went to the house, and I'm, I'm telling them, put the, put the, the thing that we're going to have, Festival of Praise. Yeah, I said, uh, Michelle, put this on your phone and send it to your friends because we're having a big day, uh, January 19th. And so she, she had my phone. And she said, Sister Black, I, I'm putting it on my phone. And then she said, but Sister Black, this address look familiar. And I said, well, it's 1100 right on State Road 7. She said, it look familiar. She said, but weird. But this is where I work. This is my office. And I said, really? She said, yes, ma'am. They live in 122 store. That's where my office is, upstairs. And then she said, 
I don't take the elevator, you know. I go up the step. And every time I see that sign, but I thought it was an Adventist warehouse or somewhere that they just store books or something. I didn't know it was a church. She said, oh, my gosh, every morning, Monday to Friday, I take that step up to my office. I didn't know it was a church. And so I will be there. Then her grandson saying, put it on my phone to me, church, because I have to come. I have to come. And I'm going to let so-and-so come. Sister Clark got so scared. She said, oh, my gosh, Sister Black, them no go to church, you know. And look how you come, come, make them put in all this on them phone. So God is good. Let us work, brethren. Let us work. Let us work. Amen.